Hello, and welcome to the AltaPoint Chart Training video series. My name is Dwayne Prejean, and today I'm going to guide you through AltaPoint version 15 and ICD-10. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Utilities and Display Version and show you that I am currently in version 15.00.005. Your version should be on that or greater to take advantage of AltaPoint's ICD-10 features. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my diagnosis code table. I'm going to search for diabetes. I'm going to edit. And then I'm going to begin the process of filling in the ICD-10 information. You can load them up one by one or purchase the codes for import. So I'm loading in an ICD-10 code and an ICD-10 description. I'll click OK and that diagnosis code is done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to list insurance companies and I'm going to show ICD-10 checkbox to show those insurance companies that have been marked as ICD-10. I'm going to search for my Medicare, edit, and I'm going to put a check mark in this ICD-10 checkbox when that insurance is ready to begin accepting ICD-10 codes. I'll click OK, and you notice if I go back under List Insurance Companies and now click on Show ICD-10, it's showing me those that have that check mark. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a patient that has that particular insurance, review her insurance, Medicare. I'll go into Ledger, I'll click New Bill, and I'll begin putting in a bill for this patient. And when I get to the diagnosis, I'm going to go ahead and change it to that diagnosis code that we put in. Notice I also have other ways to search on code, ICD-9 code, ICD-10 code, description, et cetera. I can find all of that if I'm looking for it. I'll select OK. And you'll notice over in the top right, there is now a toggle between ICD-9 and ICD-10. You can switch it and it will show the different codes that correspond to the ICD-9 or 10. Now there is a parameter at the practice information options that says we can do ICD-10 billing view. And when you put a check mark in there, so that when you edit that bill, when you go in, you'll notice now it's automatically defaulted to ICD-10, i.e. something you would probably want to do after the deadline so that you can see all of them as such. Now, here's a little secret. If you have an ICD code for a bill and it doesn't have an ICD-10 on it, and you're defaulting it to ICD-10, it's going to be nice and tell you that there's no code available and you'll probably get rejected because you're sending out a bill with an ICD-10 format, but you're not sending any with a code that corresponds. And the trigger is when you go into the bill, because it replicated, notice down here in the bottom right, ICD-10 is checked. And that's because when I created the bill, the master insurance was marked as ICD-10, so it replicated at the time I created the bill. All bills created before then are not checked. You would have to manually go in and fix that if you need to. This concludes the ICD-10 training.